There are concerns that are specific to maps that have been scanned in, for example, by a large format scanner. Let's suppose, for example, a black and white map was scanned in where black lines were drawn on a white background. And um, in the end, what we would see is that each of the pixels was either assigned to a black color or to a white color. In the example on the left, we can see that um, sometimes the line can be as many as three pixels, or in some cases, depending on what direction the line is going, um, sometimes even wider than three pixels. Um, in the end, we might want to convert this to a vector line, and it would not be great to have such a wide area to choose from as far as where that vector line is going to be located. So what we can do um, before we convert from this raster data set into a vector data set is that we can um, go through a process called thinning. Sometimes it's also called skeletonizing. And in this case here, what we're going to end up with is a raster line that is one pixel wide in, uh, in or one pixel wide or high in every case. Um, and this allows us, when we convert from raster to vector, to have a much more um, precise location for where that vector line is going to be because we're not starting with a wide area. We're just starting with a series of pixels that are as narrow as possible.